Mumbai that's completely crumbling. In fact, our national capital today came apart at the seams. Ashwarya is standing by right now. The visuals that you're looking at on your screen are of the city of Delhi. It had a spot of rain this evening. And you can see that bus that was completely submerged under water. People had to be evacuated out of that bus. The water filled into the state government offices. The secretariat was flooded today. Most of the guests who were supposed to be on the show from Delhi can't be reached because of the traffic and the heavy water logging. The rains have wreaked havoc really on our national capital. Traffic congestion reported in several areas. The Delhi Secretariat, like I told you, witnessed water logging as a result of heavy rains. Minto Road is what you're looking at on your screen. Heavily flooded and passengers traveling in buses had to be evacuated. Aishwarya standing by in Delhi at this point. Aishwarya, has the rain stopped and what is the reason for the water logging? Because we know the drains were meant to have been cleared and this is something we've been talking about for the last one year. Has the MCD done its job? Well, if you look at the visuals around, and I'm standing at a very crucial junction. Now, this is the Hero Honda Chalk from where there are roads that connect you to another state. There are roads that connect you to Rajasthan, which can lead you to Jaipur. On the other side, you have Delhi. And on the third side, you have the state of Haryana. Now the rains have stopped, but if you look at the kind of water logging that's there, it's it's appalling. You correctly mentioned, Faye, that we were told for, by the government, by the municipal corporations, that the drains are clear, the drains will not clog, and the citizens will not have to suffer. But if this is not suffering, then I don't know what is. You can see that it's knee-deep water. Vehicles are also submerged somewhat. And this is just after four hours of rain. It didn't rain throughout the day, it isn't raining now, but the water clogging across Delhi and this is a very crucial junction that where I'm standing and where we are talking about this has been submerged and the water is still not receding at this point of time. It's already almost nine o'clock in the night throughout the day. This is how the citizens of Delhi have to travel ever since it started raining around 2 p.m. today. Well, um, I, I show you, obviously, there, there was a lot of talk about the fact that drains have not been cleared yet. The drains between Delhi and Gurgaon were crucial in order to clear it up. Whose responsibility was it to clear those drains? Well, it was the responsibility of the municipal corporation, Pray. It was the responsibility of the Gurugram Municipal Corporation as well as the Municipal Corporations of New Delhi. But we can clearly see that those people have not done their job. All the water that you see around is because the drains here have not been cleaned and the water has logged. And this is just, just with four hours of rain. It rained from about 2 p.m. today till about 7 p.m. in most of the parts of Delhi and Gurgaon. And this is what we had to say. Throughout the year, not just the Chief Minister of both the states, Delhi and Haryana, were telling us that they are, they'll make sure that when it rains, the citizens don't have to suffer. But in and around Delhi, you can see, and you rightly pointed out, that the Delhi Secretariat was also submerged. You know, uh, there, there was water inside the there. And right now also, it's almost 9 o'clock, and you can see the condition around. People are finding it extremely difficult to wade through knee-deep water. All right, Aishwarya, uh, bringing us that update from uh, the, the junction between Delhi and Gurgaon. Harish Kurana, spokesperson of the BJP, joins me on the phone line at this point because our camera person was not able to reach Mr. Kurana on time given the traffic and the state of affairs in the city of Delhi. Mr. Kurana, thank you for joining us. Could you tell us, please, what is happening in Delhi? What is the status right now? We understand people, are ne you know, people have been evacuated out of buses. Is this what our national capital has come to? This is very solid state of affairs, which is what is happening since last few years. And we are raising the point, point skills. at least we should have a proper coordination between Delhi PWD, Delhi, Delhi Department, uh, Delhi uh, Government and uh, NCD also. But unfortunately, since last few years, what we are seeing is just this sheer politics, what is happening in Delhi. Uh, three, three, day, three, four days before also, I, I tweeted also as, as per PWD own record, out of 1,003 roads in Delhi, 75% of the roads don't still still have don't don't have clear, clear off this, this, this still still, uh, still pending over there. Unfortunately, problem is Delhi is facing only and only politics these days. I mean, nobody is taking the onus on 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 them. We need the proper coordination, and if this is this will happen, the just rain has just started. Today, only two hours rain has come. 
what is going to happen in next few days when when the, when rain will come on the peak i'm sorry to say that but unfortunately this is happening in delhi saurav bardwaj of the amadmi party who joins us on the phone line mr bardwaj thank you for joining us would you explain to the citizens of delhi please why we are having to see this day when people are being evacuated out of buses have the drains in fact been cleared have, was delhi made ready for the rains ah uh, yes uh, let me explain it please i am the chairperson of petitions committee at delhi assembly also yes last year the petitions committee including all the members along with the secretary pwd the chief engineers of mcd the chief engineers of pwd we visited almost 100 drains across delhi that means north delhi east delhi everything and those drains were like mcd drains as well as pwd drains you will be shocked to know that we have put it in our report also that most of the drains for which it was reported that all these drains have been 100% desilted when we went there took photographs none of the drains was desilted you know they were full of garbage when we interviewed the shopkeepers and the locals they said they haven't seen the desilting happening on these drains for last 15 years for that 15 days so the problem is what i think and what we recommended even in the delhi assembly and delhi assembly adopted the report is across india this business of desilting drains before monsoons is worth almost 50 to 60000 crores and it is all corruption all the desilting which happens during the monsoons or pre monsoons is all you know no but sir of bardwaj are you telling me that there was no hand at all of the aam aadmi party led delhi government no, in getting the, delhi del ready for the rains nothing there was no none of this could have been done by you frankly uh, you know uh, what i am telling you is the root cause of the problem the root cause is that the desilting across the country we had you know photographs few days back you know your channel no, no, don't, don't tell me mr bardwaj don't no, tell no, me about no, desilting no, across no, the country no, no, tell no, me no, about no, the city of delhi for which you are no, which you are no, responsible no, you run a government no, in delhi why is no, delhi no, under water today look uh, look madam if you are interested in politics and you want me and mr khurana to fight about it mr khurana is not even no, rebutting you i am asking you the question no, give me the answers for delhi what i am saying is we will not fight with each other we will tell you the root cause if your viewers are interested in knowing the root cause i am letting them know the root cause is that there is so much of corruption that most of the desilting which happens across india is on paper and there is no accountability you would not see any officer any neta getting imprisoned for you know putting the wrong records before the government or wrong reports before the high court these records were even put before the high court now last year we recommended the assembly of delhi recommended that all these things should be ensured what There happened in the city of time. delhi mr bardwaj yes. what That happened in the city of delhi i am telling you i am telling you about the city of delhi only okay all the recommendations which were put were about desilting bringing good machines latest technology for desilting monitoring them putting the stakeholders like locals also witnesses so that they will give a noc whether the desilting happened or not but all those recommendations but put for a toss the elected government recommended accepted the recommendations but the lg said that he doesn't you know he doesn't uh, agree with these recommendations so basically nothing happened unless and until there is a process which is followed i think we will keep you know blaming each other there will be you know shows on the television few years okay. i think it's just few days so saurav bardwaj's submission is that we need to change the process of this desilting and the accountability right. of the officers who and do the desilting and, and, and that's the only way to fix the problem Can specifically to delhi he says that they had offered a solution but it had not been accepted harish kurana your response please ma'am uh, i'm sorry to hear what saurav bardwaj is saying I'm, i mean he is completely again into coming into blame game and he is offering and we don't have any 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 anything to do but the problem is this last 24 25 years we have seen multiple governments which we have seen congress and as well as delhi government i mean bjp governments in delhi but have you seen ever these kind of blockages what what we are seeing right now last 3 years 4 years this is the same happening 
So, sir, I have not, I have not interfered in between you. But the only problem is when you know this is a season when th these kind of problems come in. What kind of uh, action plan you have taken in June? What type of action plan you have taken in March? What action plan you have taken in February? You know that. Ki no, no, Mr. Kurana, if I may, please, is it not the job of the Delhi Municipal Corporation, run by the BJP, it, to see, do the desilting? See, see, uh, you should understand what the Delhi Delhi uh, parameters are. Out of 13, 1400 roads, only 300, 300 and some uh, odd roads are under NCD. 1,303 roads see, are under uh, Delhi, Delhi, Delhi government. That's the only problem. Blame game will be starting. They'll be they'll be uh, leasing uh, NCD to don't uh, not to work. But we should know what the fact is. 90 percent, 80 percent of the roads, Delhi roads, are under PWD. And he himself is admitting a lot of corruption is there. Who is going to be responsible? Who is responsible? Chief Minister is responsible or not? Chief Minister is he has time to spend 20 days in in, in Bangalore, but he don't have time to for for Delhi action plan. I'm sorry. Uh, it's, 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 it's not about a blame game. It's about the, what the fact is. The fact is, Delhi government has failed since last three and a half years what is happening in Delhi. You know, and, and I, I just want to bring in yes. Shailesh Gandhi and uh, Rishi Agarwal who are still with us. In, Rishi, you've looked at cities for a very long time. You, you're not just an activist, you're an environmentalist, you're an urban planner. This is identical to the, to the answer we got from Mumbai. Absolutely. This road is mine, that road is not mine, this is not my responsibility, that is somebody else's responsibility. So as a result, what do the citizens get? Nothing. Absolutely, I think Faye, that's exactly what I was going to say, that uh, if you were to bring this discussion to a uh, Bangalore or uh, Chennai or uh, Kolkata, you'll get almost identical answers and this is uh, really, uh, in a sense, kind of flabbergasting that uh, how is it that uh, the national character almost seems to be uh, tilting in a absolutely identical manner. And uh, I really feel that uh, it's active citizenship, something which I've also been speaking about, that the taxpayers really need to start demanding answers and accountability. Today, if you're not paying your GST returns within the month, you're charged mm. 50 rupees penalty per day. If you're uh, income tax returns are not going. Now, uh, where is the accountability from the government? I mean, 5,000 rupees if you don't pay your income tax. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, that, those are the kind of uh, penalties. Uh, what is the Ministry of Urban Development? On this show, exactly, I remember, I think it was 2016, uh, Gurgaon, Hyderabad, Mumbai, all had faced terrible flooding. I had said that Chennai there needs also. Chennai yes. also. And I had said at that time, I need something like an Urban Floods Commission, which studies flooding in much more technical detail and uh, synergizes all the institutions which need to work together. Because frankly speaking, I think uh, this blame game can go on till the end of this century. There is no end to it. This is India's century to urbanize. While we are fighting about all these PWD, mm. etc., etc., and UN, a big conference is going where all the countries, I think 45, 50 countries are discussing sustainable development goals. The world has moved to a completely different realm. We are discussing some things here. We are not able to even fix up that who's supposed to clean my drain, my road, yes, my yes. pothole. I, I, I just I want to bring in Shailesh ridiculous. Gandhi on the same point. Shailesh Gandhi, I'm sick of, quite frankly, I'm tired of asking the questions because we get I'm such insensitive answers that it almost seems hopeless. And this is uniform across all cities. Simple thing like roads and drainage we can't fix. I think the political politicians are blaming each other. In Maharashtra, we had this great spectacle of Shiv Sena blaming BJP and BJP blaming Shiv Sena wherever possible. At the center, in Delhi, we are saying the same thing. Everybody is blaming somebody else. May I know who's responsible for things? Who's responsible for the country? Are there any of them looking at the country and saying, this is a country we are ashamed of? I am saying as a citizen, this is a country I am ashamed of, but I will try and do what I can. My elected representatives owe it to us. It is their responsibility to find a solution to these things instead of just keeping on bickering. Even when things belong to the same party, nothing really changes. Mm. And I think it's about time. The test of patriotism for politicians should be if they will improve our living conditions in cities and other places. Simple thing we are asking, roads and drains. It's sad. In 2018, we are still talking of roads and drains. I think the political class and the bureaucratic class must do some inner inspection and say 
is this right are we delivering to citizens or are we not delivering to citizens well there's obviously something wrong in all of our cities as we wrap up this discussion here and it's simply this these are all symptoms of the same disease viewers these are symptoms of corruption it is obvious corruption is a disease that plagues every one of our cities we've seen flooding in nagpur in bangalore in mangalore in mumbai in delhi in chennai in hyderabad one rain and the cities are flooding with water why is that because the people who are supposed to be doing their jobs are not doing their jobs there's enough money in our urban centers we're all paying our taxes where is that tax going we're paying tax to the central government to the state government to the city government where is the money going urban india pays almost all of the taxes in the country where is the money going roads and drainage is not a lot to ask for the rest of the world got it in the 1920s we're still asking for roads and drainage it's ridiculous and i want to remind you if we're talking about delhi or mumbai or chennai or hyderabad or bangalore or kolkata every one of these cities has a different government a different political party but what is the state of affairs all the same what is the one thing that's in common with all of these cities you and me citizens who are paying taxes not asking enough questions not getting angry enough not holding these people accountable and most importantly not voting we don't vote enough urban india has the lowest voting turnout that is why they treat us in this manner because we don't vote because we put up with it we lump it we decide that we will wade home in dirty water we will pick up an infection you'll get sick people will fall people will die we'll tweet about it and we'll move on politicians are banking on the fact that you will tweet about it and you will move on tomorrow morning you need to vote you need to ask questions you need to find out who's responsible for the road in front of you and you need to make sure that that person never ever wins an election again that is our responsibility now as citizens because we can no longer rely on these people and they will continue to treat us like we are nothing if we don't take our responsibilities more seriously thanks for watching